Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be talking to you quickly about the Time Hopathon and sharing my TBR for that, and also talking about some buddy reads I'm doing as well. But we'll get started with the Time Hopathon. So, this is created by a bunch of people. I actually saw it on uh, Aoife's channel, so Fred Weasley died laughing. I recommend you check that out. But she's co hosting it with. Sorry, I'm reading it off my screen here. I don't know if that was obvious. So, she's co hosting it with Sherry Walker, The Bookish Babbler, Paper Fairy, and Tiny Book Dragon. So, I'll try to link to all of those below. Time Hopathon. I believe this is the second Time Hopathon. So, I think they've done this before. And it runs for the course of a week. So, it's from the 19th to the 25th of February, which is a Monday to a Sunday. So, it's a whole week. And there are only three challenges. So, it's not like un bearable or anything like that. So I'm going to show you what books I've got and then I'm going to walk you through the challenges. This is basically just for the screenshot. So for the Time Hopathon there are three challenges and it's kind of time travel themed as you might imagine from the title. You don't have to read like science fiction or anything like that though, you just got to read stuff that fits in with the challenges. So the first challenge is past and that is read a classic or historical fiction. So for that I'm reading Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck and I'm actually buddy reading this with Catalyst Reads as well so I'm kind of combining the two of these together but it, it's quite a short one as well so it each of these are quite short actually so I think this is pretty achievable to get through these in a week. So then for present we have read a book released in 2017 or 2018 so I'm going for A Dark Estate by David Young and I believe this isn't even out yet it's definitely 2018 that it's published and I'm not sure what the launch date is but this is the third book of a series that's set in uh, it's set in East Germany during the Cold War, you know, during the time of the Berlin Wall. And it follows this detective called Karen Muller. And uh, yeah, I've read the first two books in this series. This is book number three and the publisher sent it to me. So I thought this is the perfect time to uh, tick that off. Plus, it's one of the few books I've got that was published in 2017 or 2018. And then challenge number three is future. So read a book set in the future. For example, a dystopian or sci-fi. So I've got Isaac Asimov, Earth is Room Enough. And yeah, I don't really have, I don't read much dystopian, I guess. Asimov is definitely sci-fi. And this does at least in part take place in the future. So one of, it's got here, um, a cornucopia of weird and wonderful invention from Dr. Isaac Asimov. A machine that views the past. Presidential election by computer. And then one of them is... An arithmetic lesson in 2157. This one's actually got the tiniest writing though. Look at this. Can you see? You, you've you got to have like, for scale. Sorry, my fingernails look awful because I play guitar and bite my fingernails. But these are the three books that I'm going to be reading for Time Hopathon. Again, I'll link below to all the information and the criteria and all that stuff. If you want to get involved, I suggest you do. And check out each of the hosts as well. It's going to be a lot of fun, actually. I'm looking forward to this. A couple of other buddy reads I wanted to mention. So I don't actually have all of the books with me right at this moment. But I've got Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I'm reading with uh, Graham Quigley and Angela Hart from Books of My Heart. So we're reading that in the start of February to uh, post reviews around Valentine's Day kind of thing. So there's that. I'm reading City of Ashes with Damien Tariquez and Kit Kats Can Read. And we're just going to go through one a month until we've caught up with all of Cassandra Clare's uh, back catalogue. I'm reading... I've got this one because I was just reading it. Here it is. I'm reading Stanley McLeod Must Die by Adrian Baldwin, so this is an indie novel and I'm reading this as part of Todd and Dane's indie read-along. Again, I'll link to that below if you would uh, like to find out more about that. Basically, we're just trying to read at least one indie book a month. And what's the other one? Oh, and I've got um, The Sign of the Four as well, which I'm going to listen to on audiobook. Um, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, of course. It's probably my favourite Sherlock Holmes book. And that is for Catalyst Reads Rereadathon. So the challenge for this month is to reread a book that you read at college and or school, university, etc, etc. I think that's it. I think we've reached the end. Did I get everything? Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, I've committed myself to reading seven. Seven? Seven. Seven? Yeah. So I've committed myself to reading seven books as part of like, you know, read-alongs and, you know, buddy reads and that kind of stuff. But I read more than seven books in a month, so I'm hoping we're going to be alright. And uh, I've kind of already started on this and I'm filming this right at the end of January. This won't be up until February because, like, so many videos to post and stuff. 
So on that note, let me know if you're buddy reading anything in February. If you're going to join Time Hopathon, I encourage you to do so. Please do hit subscribe if you'd like to see more Buckish videos, and I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yes, I do have a beard. Look at this. Look at my beard. Close up on the beard. Mm.